What's up everyone, I'm VCI- Wait, did you hear that? Is that... Is that snoring? It is. The human resources guy is actually sleeping. Well, I don't know what to say about that. But I'm VCI Gaming, and welcome to Bridge Constructor Portal, Part 1. So let's see how hard this game really is. Now if you guys have any suggestions, tips or tricks, or see me doing something completely wrong, please, let me know in the comments below. Guess that's me in line. So you want to be reassigned as Chief Custodian for the Aperture Science Vehicular Hurdling Initiative? That's a mouthful, but yes, for science. That's the spirit. We admire your principles so long as they're ours. Oh, you know what that sounds like. I'm required by protocol to conduct an interview with you. It will contain one question. Are you ready? Well, who would actually say, hold on, what's the question going to be? It's not kind of like a yes, anyway. Suit yourself. Now tell me, what would you do if life gave you lemons? I'd make lemonade, I'd make life take the lemons back. Let's go with that. Any Johnsons in your family tree? That's the kind of cheap custodian attitude we need. Now get to your desk and make us proud. All right. <laughs> Stick figure with a, a hard hat. Oh, you see the guys down here, they left their heads down. That's kind of sad. All right, what's going on boss? What do we have to do here? Don't get too cozy reading construction magazines. It's time to get started. Well, how did you know? Okay. Enrichment Center regulations require that all trainees pass a battery of custodial proficiency tests. Don't worry, we'll be securely withholding your paychecks during this probationary period. So basically, I'm not getting paid for this. The series of test chambers will test your construction and deduction skills. Are you ready to earn your golden cheap custodial hat? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Okay, so apparently this is a bridge that was left by people before me. Don't know what kind of people they were to classify this as a bridge that would work, but okay. Double click on component or joint to remove it. Okay, so let's get rid of this junk. Oh. Excellent. Your ability to destroy without question is quite impressive. That's what my ex used to say. Next, we will supplant a new construction using Aperture Science Convertible Scaffold Planks. Okay. Okay, so click here on the scaffolding, press left click on a construction point to start building, move the cursor to the desired end location, and press again to place a new component. Uh, okay, well, that's easy enough. I, I guess they're giving us kind of like the blueprint for this bridge, because I'm guessing this is learning the basics. The bridge still requires a roadway for the test vehicle to drive on. Can't drive over this? Fortunately, each Aperture Science convertible scaffold plank can be converted into a roadway and vice versa at any time. Okay, okay. So just click on a component. Okay, so I'll put the road up here. Very good. Let That's a test this. vehicle run over your bridge to test it. Okay, so I'll drive. I'm guessing this will work because they kind of gave us the exact blueprints for it. Yep, nice and smooth. Past one of six. Okay, so there's this option. So convoy. All right, let's uh, let's click convoy. Okay, yeah. So all right, there'll be a lot more going over. I guess this adds a lot of weight and things like that to the bridge. So if it's built kind of poorly, it won't allow six over. Whereas it would have let the single one over. Okay, so that's like the more advanced thing, I guess. Let's go to the next level. So far, I'm enjoying it. I like these kinds of games. Level two. Welcome to test chamber two. Okay. To overcome obstacles, you will often need to construct your bridge uphill or downhill. All right. This roadway leads uphill, but is not suitable for vehicles. However, instead of destroying these components, we will modify their location. Okay, okay, so you don't have to start from scratch. So click and hold on yellow hinge point until moving the mode is activated, then drag the hinge point to a new position. So I guess we can kind of do this. Well, before we do this, I want you guys to think, why do you think this is a bad idea? I think this would work, do you? All right, let's, uh, okay, there's the, the move mode. Okay, so I guess we'll just do that. Very good. Now build the supports underneath. Okay, so the supports, click and then click again. Excellent. Okay, that's easy. The first bridge is ready. Now we will construct a vehicle ramp for hurdling to the exit. Okay. You don't think it'll make it from here to here? Well, obviously not, right? 
Okay, so let's start with this part here. Now I'm guessing they're not going to give us these exact blueprints throughout the whole game. This is the learning stage. This is learning the basics. So that's kind of cool that they're like um, walking us through this. What's up here? Um, I don't know. It was blinking. Okay, so we hit drive now. Yep, that'll release one car. Or we'll put one forklift to go over the bridge. We'll see if it works and then I guess the convoy option will come up. And we'll try that. Yep, here we go. Let's do the convoy. Again, they gave us the exact blueprint, so this should work. If it doesn't work, it would actually be quite, be quite funny. Nice and smooth. Bridge is moving a little bit with more weight on it, which makes sense, so this is probably going to get a lot harder in the coming uh, levels. Alright, next level. Okay, so we have two areas now. Please observe this test chamber layout, and note that it is impossible for the vehicle to reach its destination. That's correct, because there's green water. For this water. task, the test chamber will be enhanced with an Aperture Science Quantum Tunnel, or more commonly called, a portal. Okay, so we'll call it a portal instead of a uh, Aperture Science Quantum Tunnel. The portal will open in 3, 2, 1. Duck! Okay, okay. Any vehicle that enters one side of the portal will instantly exit from the other side at the same speed. At the same speed? Your rapid progress has demonstrated that even the simplest employees can doodle a bridge, while our expert drivers handle the complex physics of navigating through portals. Hey, I didn't doodle that bridge. That was your blueprint. Alright, so let's build, I guess, the roadway first. Like that. Very good. Testing procedure requires that this test will not allow supporting the bridge from below. However, okay. we can water. use the construction attachment points above to suspend the bridge with Aperture Science Multipurpose Super Cables. Okay, we'll use Multipurpose super cables. super cables consist of tightly rolled shower curtains and can be stretched over long distances. Okay, so in 2018, we're using tightly rolled shower curtains to hold up bridges. Fancy. And same concept as making the other parts of the bridge. Perfect. All right. Now send the vehicle through the portal. Don't worry. These intradimensional gates have been proven completely safe for custodial staff. I'm not worried about the portals. I'm worried about this up here because there's no bridge, right? Okay. Okay, so these work pretty good. Uh, Please note, to protect valuable right. testing apparatus, vehicle drivers are not permitted to make contact with the deadly fluid on the chamber floor. For Your reason, employee for photo will be provided in the vehicle driver's cause of death form in the event of your failure. That's horrible. Their families will come after me. Alright, let's tell us to click build. So I guess we'll, um, I'm thinking we'll just build the same type of, oh, whoops, let me go to scaffolding. I guess we'll just build the same straight bridge here, like so. Put a roadway there, and then we'll, I'm wondering if putting these on an angle would work. So I'm just going to put a couple extra. If I do something like this, I'm guessing it should work. Now, as far as putting a cable from here to here, I don't think I need to do that because this ground is kind of like um, holding it up. So basically, these are the only things that are being suspended by these cables. So this should work, theoretically, unless this mechanic is incorrect. Let's see. Okay, so it bends a little bit, but that's normal. It can't be completely solid or it would actually be dangerous for the people driving over it, given the weight. So let's try a convoy here. I'm confident this one will work. This one will work because they um, gave us the exact blueprints for that. Okay, so two on the bridge. That's good. Okay, so this stretching, or I'm sorry, this angle of the wire seems to be good. As long as the weight isn't too much, I'm guessing. But it wasn't in this case, so let's go to the next level. So far, so good. Okay, level four. What's Multiple this one about? pairs of portals can exist at the same time. Okay. One of them is leading to a deadly laser field. 
It oh. appears red to discourage casual contact. Well, I was sure wouldn't want to touch it. I am registering an increased heart rate and galvanic skin response. Obviously due to the fact that you are not able to tell which portal will lead the vehicles into the lethal deadlock. Okay. To compensate for your lack of clairvoyant abilities, we will alter the portal spectral radiance. The portal spectral radiance? Spectral radiance means color. You're going to change the From portal's now on, color. Interlinked portals will always have matching colors. I could have probably logically deduced the right answer, but thanks for the help. Okay, so this is the start point and the end point. Looks like let's kind of get an idea. There's these cable holders here, the supports here. So I'm guessing we'll make a bridge that goes down to the yellow. Um, actually, no, we'll go up to the blue because it'll come out here, which will go down to the red. And since this is downhill, it'll gain speed and hopefully enough speed to jump through here and right into the exit. So let's do that. Let's start here. So we need to go up to the blue. This should be easy. Let's um make a roadway here. We'll try to make it as level as we can. In this case, we're able to actually make a straight line. Then we'll go to the shower curtains, aka the cables, and we will do this, right? I'm guessing. Let's do that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's keep it like that. That that looks like it'll work. So let's um let's give it a test drive here. Well, that's actually a drive. I'm guessing test will kind of do the same thing, but okay. So so far so good. Let's go back to the build mode. We'll um put a roadway here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's a little uh bumpy there. It'll kind of be like a ramp. It probably crash into the wall. Okay, so make this roadway, and then we'll go back to the cables. And we will kind of do this. That should work. Um, let's hit test. Oh, test doesn't do anything. Okay, so let's hit drive then. Now there are no orange circles here, so that means that you can't build anything here. So you have to have enough speed um, when you come in here to go through that. And we did, so that's complete. Let's try a convoy. Let's see if this actually holds up with more weight on it. Especially this one, because it's longer distance for the way to get distributed. Let's see how that works. Works actually pretty good. These actually didn't move at all, so I'm actually quite happy with that. Alright, that's pretty pretty good. Let's go to the next level. Oh, okay, so we have another type of bridge here. This test like. chamber only has construction attachment points at the start and end of the roadway. Okay. In such cases, the bridges must be self-supporting, with arch scaffolds placed in a triangular formation. We provided okay. two bridges as structural reference. It should be a simple matter of copying this design to bridge the remaining gaps. Alright, it should be easy enough. This makes sense, because there's no orange circles up here, so there's really no way to put cables there. So you have to have a structure that's self-supporting. Let's go to right here well let's actually see how does this go it's gonna go from here through the blue portal so we'll start with this one first let's just put a regular roadway here um this looks a little bit bumpy all right there we go that's pretty straight um then i guess we kind of just do the triangle thing right here um this the triangle thing being this orange circle would should be about halfway um between these two endpoints on this piece of road here and then we'll put the top supporting and you know what since this is kind of really easy let's do this one as well so we'll put a straight roadway and then we'll um put the top supporting beams up here like that boom 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 and let's drive it i'm confident this will work but can, can never be 100 percent sure can you all right so this is good it does move a little bit but this one seems fine because it's straight. Um, I'm guessing... Let's put a convoy. I'm a little bit worried about this one because the momentum of coming down with uh, more than one car, meaning more weight on it, might actually stress it to the point where it breaks, but it looks like we're going to be alright. It didn't move as much as I actually thought it would, so that's really good. Terrific. Okay, that's going to be level 5 done. And I'm going to end the video there as well. So if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.